Alright, so this is going to be a real short light tutorial for all the beginners out there. And uh, I'm going to cover up the standard three point lighting system. So, yeah, to get something like this, um, I'm going to show you how to get lights, and r it's really simple, trust me. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to delete my light kit. And, yeah, alright, so. For now, click on the demo or whatever your character's name is, go to body and right click on the head, BIP underscore head. Scroll down to DAG utilities menu and create lights. So now you get a set of light. Well, first I'm just gonna cover up all the lights briefly. Key light. Key light is the main light on the character that illuminates the character and creates shadows. Going on to the second light, which is the fill light. It's basically the light which fills up the shadows created by the key light. And then the rim light, also known as the bat light, which is usually used to create an outline on the character in order to separate the character from its background. And then the last is the bounce light, which is not a really important light. It's basically used in photography for, it's basically like a light that reflects from a reflecting surface onto the character to smooth the whole lighting, like, you know, the whole lighting, it smoothens the whole lighting thing, which uh, is not really necessary in Source Filmmaker, to be honest, as far as I know. But uh, yeah, you can just leave it there. So, to start things off, we're going to start with the key light. First of all, uh, a lot of you guys asked me how to like darken the background like this. Because this map is not this dark. So basically, you go to the camera and there's this thing called tone map scale. You can upscale it and downscale it. So I downscale it to something like this to get that dark feeling. But it also reduces the intensity of all the lights in a scene. So for that, there's a simple solution for it. You go to key light and then right click on the intensity and go to remap slider range. And this is the max value of the intensity right now. So just add a zero, you know, and click OK. And you're going to get a really like intensified light. I don't know. So yeah. So to start things off again, just uh, just go with the key light and just try to place it put it down the secondary viewport and I'm just gonna place it you can just make some a little bit changes on the character like I'll put it down somewhere like this go to the fill light that's the second light I told you about uh, around about here or something uh, let me do the same here as well get that intensity let's see uh, yeah, that, that looks good. And for the rim light, again, the same thing you can do. There we go. So, let me see where the... I'll just put it to your, to the little bit of right here, somewhere like this. And increase the intensity. So, it gives that smooth looking, a good outline that separates the character from its background. If you get the point. So now what I'm going to do is that a lot of people I've seen, they use this thing, but they forget to do a really important thing, which is to disable the wall metric. So right click on the key light and disable the wall metric. All right. So once you do that, just tap on the screen on the work camera and it's disabled. Now what you want to do is that just, you know, change it accordingly. You, you, you get the point. Like. You get the good lighting and all that stuff. You can just adjust everything accordingly. Like I'm going to do some a little bit adjustments like something like this. Increase the intensity a little bit for the fill light a little bit here. Something like this. And, you know, so also. A lot of people think that you cannot color this light. It only comes with the, the light reddish color, which is not true. You can click on the light kit and slide this colorized slider 
and then you can just you know color the light as you want so like you know whatever you want so i'm just gonna leave it like this i don't really care <laughs> right now so yeah that's about it and you get your perfectly good looking light so i hope it helped and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials coming up this week i don't know i'll try to be consistent i'm really sorry that i haven't been uploading lately but uh, yeah i'll try to get at least a video out every single day so yeah i hope it helped and thank you